Hello, YouTube. Mary, once again. I guess you know it's me because you see my face and you see my title. I don't even know why I even say Mary once again. But anyway, I decided to come by and make a, a quick video uh, with my, my cards, my animal cards, and also the Book of Answers. I hadn't done my cards in a long time. And I know it's, it's about time because... We, we all are going through some strange times and, you know, we need some clarity about some things. But, uh, I don't know, I get revelations and bits and pieces of the day. And one revelation I got today, I was looking for this book, my animal card book, and also this book, the book of answers. And I couldn't, I couldn't find it. It was like, man, so in order to put my beamers out for, uh, to find it, I had to get a mental picture of what they look like so I could focus. So I'm, what it looked like. Oh, okay. I know the animal card book is purple. And the Book of Answers is a real thick black book. So I, I honed in on that in my mind. And as soon as I honed in on it, I locate them. They were right in front of me. but <laughs> So I did that. But the lesson I learned in that is when we are looking for something, be it love, money, good relationships, if we never had that, if we'd never seen that, we're going to be searching for a long time. And if you've never seen it before, you it could be right in your hand and you don't know what it is. So my point is, if you don't, if you've never had what you're looking for, it's going to be awful hard to find. And nine times out of 10, it's going to slip away from you because you don't claim it. So that's what I'm talking about. Let me shuffle these cards one more time. I shuffled them early, but I'm going to shuffle them now. And another point I want to make, for all the people who are doing readings on other people, that, that doesn't work. The universe doesn't allow that. You cannot give a reading on a person without their permission. You can remote uh, do cards. I used to do that when I did tarot and uh tarot cards and we did it remotely you can receive reiki remotely but everything has to be with your permission so you people who out there pulling cards on people and the cards you pull are meant for you and the cards that i pull with this reading is for me now you could um insert something you're going through in it and it may resonate but i'm not calling out a person and saying i'm gonna do a reading on you i don't i don't do my readings like that so this is for me because sometimes when i get confused about things and this is the only deck of cards that i find to be uh, accurate whenever i do tarot cards reading Whatever that spread comes up, whatever spread comes up, it takes almost two years for this spread to fulfill. So I stopped doing cards like that because the ones I do are so accurate and they're long standing. It's not like it's going to, you get what the card tell you and it's going to pass on. It's going to linger for two years. So. Let's get on into <laughs> to the meat of this. But anyway, let's see. Y'all looking at the cards, so let me turn them around so I can pick one for myself. Do the Jeopardy music, you know. <laughs> this card is for me, and you can claim it for yourself if you want to. But this is the card I really know is for me. What does it say? The raccoon upside down. 
Okay. No, it's not the raccoon, the badger. I thought that's the badger upside down. Let's see what the badger is talking about. His number is number 29. So we go into this book. This deck I have, oh, it's going on 30 years old. So it's been my go-to in times of confusion and when I need confirmation. But I've been saying I was going to do this since this virus broke out and, you know, just needing to uh, know I'm on the right path. Okay, the badger, he's on page 29 in this book. Okay, the badger. I mean, he's not on page 29, he's number 29. Okay, let's see what the badger stands for. The badger comes along with a poem. Badger, badger, until you reach your goal, know the inner power that lives in your soul. The, va the badger is vicious and attacks with powerful aggression. Badger is quick to anger and quick to pounce. The power of badger's medicine is aggressiveness and the willingness to fight for what it wants. The very thought of facing badger makes other animals run for cover. Like skunk, badger's reputation precedes it. Its hisses and fangs will tear less aggressive opponents, ugh, opponents to shred. Badger is the medicine of many powerful medicine women. For badger is also the keeper of the medicine roots. Badger sees all the roots of Mother Earth's healing herbs hanging in his burrow home. These roots are a key aggressive. Stop, Sonny. These roots are a key to aggressive healing. Roots can ground negative energy into the earth by allowing illness to pass through a body into the ground as neutral energy. Hold on a minute. She she is acting cuckoo. Okay, we resuming. Roots can, can ground negative energy into the earth by allowing illness to pass through a body into the ground as neutral energy. Badger medicine people are quick to act in a crisis. They do not panic. If badger is a part of your medicine, you're quick to express your feelings and you do not care what the consequences are. Badger people oftentimes insist on carrying the ball for the touchdown. This attitude, however, does not endear him to their teammates. Badger medicine may also point to the aggressive healer who will have the courage to use unconventional means to exact a cure. Like the mother who sits for days nursing a child with a high fever, Badger is willing to pursue. No, Badger is willing to persist. Okay, Badger people can be bishop gossips or may exhibit a chip on the shoulder syndrome if they are out of balance. You can be sure that people with badger medicine will be aggressive enough to make it to the top of their chosen field because they do not give up. They are also the finest healers because they will use any and all methods to ensure healing and will not give up on the critically ill. Okay, now... Y'all saw me when I pulled the card upside down. So that means I'm working this particular card in the negative. It says, oops, here comes a badger upside down and fuming. This could mean that you are being chewed out by someone else or that you have expressed your anger in an unhealthy way. If this applies to you, remember that all anger stems from anger toward the self. This is an anger of helplessness 
that is misdirected toward others. This is amazing. If you are angry at a co-worker for telling the boss that you are looking for another job, you are really angry at yourself for not keeping your own secrets. Okay, I read that wrong. If you are angry at a co-worker for telling the boss that you are looking for another job, you are really angry at yourself for not keeping your own secret. If you are angry at your children for disobeying, it is unusual anger that stems from the fear of this child's well-being. This anger condition is usually present when you have silly accidents, falls, cuts, and scrapes, or when you find yourself bumping into furniture. This is really weird. It ain't weird. I should expect this. Badger in the contrary position can issue in a time of reflection on what you feel helpless about. It is your lack of aggressiveness or is it in, in intuitive? Is it your fear of being blasted or belittled if you present a new idea? Maybe it's a time when you need to get in touch with your own jealousy or envy of others who are willing to put themselves on top through hard work. In the reverse, Badger teaches you the pit pitfalls of shyness and insecurity as well as of misuse and vicious aggression. Go to your feelings. Maybe you need to let steam off. If so, scream into a pillow and then punch it a few times. It will surely put Badger back into balance. Badger can be difficult medicine and learning to use it, it, use it properly is a rare gift. In another context, contrary Badger could also be calling you to use herbs and roots to heal your body. Hmm. Badger reverse also may also be putting you on notice to be aware of those areas in your life that need the input of someone else's aggressiveness, cre aggressive creativity to spark your own. Let me read that again. Because, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not going to stop the video because this, this card is for me and we just have to wait on through this. Badger... Reverse may also be putting you on notice to be aware of those areas of your life that need the input of someone else's aggressive creativity to spark your own. This is so true. In any case, Contrary Badger speaks of a need for more aggressive action in life. No matter, no more inactivity can prevail without creating pain of some kind. Wow. So, this is amazing. I shouldn't even be shocked. Because this this card is for me, and that, that's why I pulled it upside down. Man. Okay, Mary, you, you got a lot of work to do on. Do, uh, do. A lot of work I got to fix. But you can't, it ain't going to be fixed today. <laughs> but I know these cards are so true. And you could accept this reading for yourself. And if it applies to you, but if it don't, it's not for you. Because like I can say, I don't, I don't believe people can pull a card for you if you haven't, if they haven't gotten permission from you to do so. Okay, now let's do this book of answers. Oh, man. Okay, what kind of questions do you guys have? And we'll thumb through this book. I'm trying to think. I have a question about uh, my gifts, the gifts that I was born with. Have I let the gifts go dormant because of the situation in my body, the health things that I have had? But I'm doing so much better now. It's just I can't do physical work and stuff due to the, you know, long story, what's going on in my body. So my question would be, 
Should I continue? I'm changing my question now. <laughs> okay, we can do that. We can change our mind. My question is, am I doing the right thing in this my this place and time in my life? Okay. And you could you could make up a question that you have in your mind. You see, I'm flipping. Uh, round and round she goes. Where she stopped, no one knows. I'm gonna stop right there. Let y'all see what it says first. Move my finger. Okay. <laughs> Bet on it. So the question was, am I doing the right thing in my life? And that's the that's the greatest yes you can have. And it says, bet on it. So those of you who had a question, you could, you know, take that answer or you can throw it away. But when I first got these cards, I was so excited about having them and so amazed at how correct they were until I just made these cards, uh, these uh, animal cards become my new card for answering stuff every day or twice a day I would go to the cards and I finally figured out that that's not the way you do the cards for yourself you when you read them you absorb them and then you let the universe unfold these new things to you so that was my reading for myself today uh the badger upside down <laughs> anyway guys I'll check back with you uh you all later we have to stay safe and don't be afraid. That's the key. Bye.